Hey guys, today we're going to go over discrete math from study.com. So if you are going to school at WGU or TESU and you really want to get discrete math out of the way, study.com is the absolute perfect way to do it. So discrete math is in the WGU computer science program and you would also have to do it if you're doing the TESU computer science program. And there's probably other computer science programs out there where you can transfer in discrete math as well. But these are the two main ones that I can think of. Now, discrete math is a very difficult course at both platforms. So if you can get rid of this headache, especially with the promo study.com is doing right now, it is 68% off. So even if you did only two courses in one month, one being discrete math, you're basically saving yourself a huge headache for just under $40 for that course. Uh, right now it'd be 75 a month uh, to get two courses out of the way but basically you're getting a huge headache out of the way for under 40. so in this video i'm going to go over discrete math i am going to go over some bits and pieces of it at study.com i will explain my own challenges i will explain my own methods and trust me that if you like if you're choosing a computer information system degree or a software engineering degree purely for the fact you're scared of discrete math and calculus, you can do it at ACE credit platforms. You can absolutely 100% do it. These are not as hard as college level courses, okay? This discrete math course on study.com is challenging, okay? It is, a, it is a very challenging course, but it's not college level challenging. ACE credits are supposed to not quite be as challenging as college, although some of them are still pretty rigorous courses. Study.com provides a great platform for discrete math. I This was probably the hardest ACE credit course that I took, but I had fun doing it. This was the only course that I really ever had to make flashcards for, and I really had to study those flashcards. I basically had to know them like the back of my head. And eventually, I did pass the final exam. With study.com, you want to make sure you get 100% on all the quizzes. You get three tries for every quiz. If you get 100% on all the quizzes, you only need 55% on the final. So if you maximize these quizzes, okay, you get 100% on all the quizzes, you get three tries on each, and there's only five questions per quiz, and they're open book. Okay, They're open book quizzes, five questions, and you get three tries. So there's no excuse not to get at least 97 plus percent on every single quiz, preferably 100%. I mean 97% in total, not 97% every quiz, but at least 97% on all the quizzes in total, preferably 100%. And then on the final, you only need 55%, which is absolutely doable, okay? If you study, if you put in the work, you can absolutely get anywhere from 55% onwards you can definitely do it guys trust me now i'm gonna go over i there's only so much i can show you because i don't have a premium account to study.com anymore plus i'm not going to show you premium material that you would have to pay for but i will go over the portion i can show for free and i will show you their lesson chapters which you can look at as well and it, it will basically give you things to study i'll show you how study.com works if you've never participated on the platform so there is a reading part and a video for most lessons. So we'll go into a screen recording and we'll go over that and we'll give you, a, I will give you basically what to study, the chapters to study and parts to study going into the study.com course. But trust me when I say, all you really need is this study.com course. If you read every lesson and watch every lesson, I, it's all that you need. I, I don't think you need any other material and you can definitely pass this course and get rid of discrete math at WGU and TESU. All right, guys, here we are in the discrete math course page here at study.com. I actually recorded this whole video with, I forgot to record the screen, so here I am redoing it all. But uh, Math 108 Discrete Mathematics would be the page here. And there's only so much I can show you because this is the free version. So to get a feel of it, you can go to the discrete math page and you can click on this and you can watch the first minute of every video. Every video is an animated video, which is really cool, it's really fun, and I like it. They're usually anywhere from two to 10 minutes long, and like 80% of the lessons on study.com usually have 
one of these videos. So we can't do any reading. Reading is reserved for uh, the premium members. So this only shows a video. But if you were logged in as a premium member to the College Saver subscription, then you would see the, uh, the reading portion. And I learn better from reading, says the guy who makes videos, right? But I learn better from reading. You know, my mind actually reads it, and I feel like I can also go faster than the videos. I can read a less than, less than 10 minutes compared to the videos, which are sometimes 10 minutes. So when I was doing study.com, I was going for speed, you know, so I tried to do this course as fast as I could. I think I did this course in exactly two weeks. Uh, most study.com courses I actually did in like three or four days, but this one did take me like 14, 15 days. Uh, I was taking my time with it. I was trying to learn, but I still, um, I still skipped a lot of the videos, but I watched probably 70% of them, but, uh, I read every single lesson, you know, I, I took notes and I did flashcards. So I took this course very seriously and I just really locked myself in a room and tried to learn it, you know, put your phone away, do what you can to learn it. You really, really got to digest the material on this course if you want to pass. And math is not, people think math is like something to do with intelligence. No, guys, it's time management. Like learning anything in life, it's time management. You know, you get frustrated and you're like, you're, oh, I can't do this. That is not because you're not smart. That is because you're not willing to put the time in and get over that frustration period as well. You know, you just have to get by that frustration period of a couple hours where you want to pull your hair out and then get right back in it, you know, and just learn, learn, learn. Okay. Now we're going to go over. So every cor course has chapters and lessons. There is nine lessons in chapter one. This is logic and proofs, which is, you know, one of the backbones of discrete math. And in uh, chapter one, you have critical thinking and logic and mathematics, logical fallacy, appeal to ignorance fallacy, truth value, conjuncture versus disjuncture, conditional statement. Like all this might sound overwhelming, but I guarantee you, you might actually find it fun. You might find it fun. It's hard. But I personally think you'll have it. You'll you'll find it fun. Now you can skip the video and lesson entirely and just take the quiz. Like if you're really just pressed on time, and it'll be a five question quiz and you'll have three tries at it. You want to make sure you get a hundred percent. Okay. The thing is, if you don't get a hundred percent, then you can go back and read and watch the videos again, and take it again. Also, these are open book quizzes. You can watch a video as you're taking the quiz. You can read as you're taking the quiz. So in my opinion, you really should get 99 to 100% on all the quizzes in total because you'll have a total quiz score at the end. And that should probably be like 99%. And then you would need 55 to 56% on the final to actually pass the course, which is, let's be re realistic, guys. I think you can get a 55% in any course, okay, if you study enough, all right? 55% should be absolutely doable for any course on the planet. Um, unless it's like some really advanced PhD machine, lear machine learning course where, you know, it's some pretty insane math and you, you really need to know your stuff. But other than that, like any course on the planet, you should be able to get 55% on a final exam with enough studying. So... Chapter two is sets and functions, which is another huge part of discrete math, sequences, sums, and induction, counting rules, discrete probability, which is huge as well. Uh, bionomical, uh, bionomical probability, recursion. Recursion is actually one of the chapters I struggled on quite a bit. Uh, principles of graph. I struggled a little bit on that one as well. And then trees I did well in. And then matrices is another one that you know, kind of kicked my butt a little bit. And then chapter 11, I actually did pretty good on if I remember correctly. So like I said, it was like probably two and a half years when I took this. So I don't remember exactly what I did well on and what I struggled on. But I do think the first five chapters are easier than the rest of the course. But like I said, you can absolutely get this done 100%. It might look overwhelming because there's so many quizzes to take, right? There's over a hundred quizzes in most study.com courses. 
In this one, I think there's slightly less than 100. I think it said there's 88. So there's 88 quizzes. Now, you might think 88 quizzes is a lot, but they're five question quizzes with either a 10 minute video or a small reading passage. So it's absolutely doable. Like, it's not an exam. It's not like a huge college quiz after like a ton of chapters you had to read. You know, you can do, I've done 80 quizzes in a day on study.com, okay? Not in discrete math. I, I would say that's not wise, but you could probably get 20 quizzes done in a day in discrete math on this website if you really hustle. So it's all about time. It's all about making the time for it. This course is challenging. It's rigorous, but it's worth it to get it out of the way so you don't spend so much time on it at WGU or TESU or even risk not passing it on those websites and have to change uh, have to change majors. I'm not saying that would happen to you, but it just, it's better to just get rid of this headache right now, in my opinion, before you enroll in your computer science program. Now, will this help you on the job? Discrete math does play a decent role when it comes to, you know, data structures, but for the most part, discrete math is not really used when it comes to software engineering, nor is really any math. Uh, there's a lot of math used in data and you know AI and machine learning. But when it comes to actually like software engineering, like building things, front end development, mobile development, you're not really gonna use much math on the job. So you just have to get past it in your degree. Math is also a big thing in game pro uh, game programming. Um, you might need math, especially if you're gonna deal with any type of physics in the game. You know, like let's say you're your character gets hit. You need to program with math, like what's exactly going to happen, how he's going to move, things like that. Well, that is more for very advanced games. If you're gonna make a very simple mobile game or PC game, you might not need to do that type of stuff. But discrete math, guys, study.com, I think it's very much worth it. You know, I, I have my degree and I thank study.com and it's discrete math course for helping me get my degree. You know. Um, many courses on study.com helped me with that and other ace credit providers as well so like i said ace credits that's what my channel is kind of based upon and i try to help you guys understand that these are not as hard as you think they are okay you can absolutely get it done you know so if you want if you want to spend the time if you want to spend the money i think it's very worth it uh, if you're not doing one of the computer science programs and you've decided 100 percent against it already then this course is not something you're going to take anyways. Like I said, if this is a course for computer science curriculums, and I'm mainly talking about the WGU and TESU um, curriculums, because I'm not sure what other, what other school will accept this course, but I'm sure there's quite a few of them. But I wish you guys the absolute best of luck. Uh, I wish I can go over more, but from a free membership, there's only so much I can show you here. Um, plus I can't give, you know, too much of the material away either. I just wanted to show you guys like, Hey, you can do this. You know, that's the point of this video. Like, Hey, if you, if you want a computer science degree and you're like, Oh my God, I can't do it because of the math. Almost discrete math scares me. Like if that's your mindset, trust me, you can do it. You know, and that is, that is the point of this video that I'm showing that, that discrete math on study.com is not the boogeyman. You can absolutely complete it. You can get this done in two weeks, budget the time, spend as much time as you can on it every day, flashcards, study, turn your phone off, hammer it every single day. I guarantee you 14 to 16 days, you know, take at least, try to aim for at least eight to 10 quizzes a day and just hammer this out, guys. Take the final right around the anywhere from 13 to 16 day mark and just make sure you've done a ton of studying, okay? This class is not the boogeyman. It's hard, okay? But with great sacrifice comes great reward, okay? With hard work comes payoff. You can do it, 100% believe in you. I hope I helped you in some possible way today. Remember, you probably watch my channel because you either hacked a degree in the past or you plan on hacking a degree. You're trying to figure out how to graduate your degree. You're trying to 
find out how to graduate it cheap. You're trying to find how to get it done fast. Okay. And do not be scared of this course. You know, it's not as hard as a college course. Uh, there's no F that can go on your transcript, you know, like failing this doesn't hurt you at all. I mean, sure. You'll have a little money, uh, that you spent on it, but this does not hurt you at all. Plus you won't fail. You know, if you take this on study.com and you give it your, your full effort, I guarantee you, you will pass. So guys, I wish you the absolute best of luck. I want you to go get your computer science degree, you know, get that degree, get your future six figure engineering job, you know, whether that's a web developer, mobile developer, whatever you want to do, but discrete math, absolutely doable. You know, study.com is like a big, big cheat code for discrete math. They're also the only ACE credit provider that actually has this course. So it's either do it here or do it at a two or four year university. So thank you guys for watching. If I helped you in any possible way, please like, and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. I'm trying to grow this channel. I am pumping out content more than ever before, you know, sometimes three, four videos a week, and I am doing my best to help you guys in any way that I can. Um, Hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. I will see you next time.